Hello, Bobbleheads. Welcome back to my YouTube page. It is me, Bob the Drag Queen. This page is like, do I sound old when I say page? Does YouTube page make you sound like a yeah. boomer? They drag you every single page. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> well, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello, bobbleheads. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. Welcome to my um, what do the, what do the millennials say? Um, interweb. My page. <laughs> Hello, bobbleheads. Welcome back to my YouTube page. It is is wait, what am I supposed to be saying? Channel. Hello, bobbleheads. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello, Bobbleheads. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Bob the Drag Queen. I have another amazing list for you today. Okay, so I am ranking every single season of Drag Race, all stars and regular seasons alike, just for America. And I did this before, I filmed this before we found out that Jimbo won all stars. But because of that, we're not putting it. So because of that, I'm not including that season. So, so listen, this is not a reflection of how I feel about the queens and their talent as people. It's just how I feel about the seasons themselves, the arcs, the stories, the drama, the the everything. It's, 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 the, it's the season as a whole. That being said, I have 23 seasons. Let's get into it. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now, listen, serious question. There's something interfering with your happiness or just making it hard for you to achieve your goals. Okay, regardless of whether you have like some sort of a, a clinical mental health issue, whether it be like depression or anxiety, or whether you're just a human being who is just living in the world, having a hard time getting through it. Girl, trust me, I understand, I get it. Therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. And therapy's helped me a lot in life. That's why I'm excited to talk to you all about our sponsor today, BetterHelp. Now listen, BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy affordable and accessible, something that is not known for being in the world. That's a very important mission because finding a therapist is a really hard sometimes, especially, especially when you have limited options in your area. Now, BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it is online and it is remote. So by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And listen, sometimes finding a therapist is like dating. And it is not always easy and it's not always a good match, all right? So if you need to switch therapists, BetterHelp will let you switch therapists at no additional cost. Not a big deal. You know, listen, if you need if you need some help, if you feel like you want to give it a shot, you can go to the link in the bio or go to betterhelp.com slash Bob the Drag Queen. You know, last year I had a really rough time and I was like, I need to get some therapy and talking to a therapist every single, like once a week was really a big deal for me. It helped me get through a lot. And it um, sometimes helps you see things, sometimes talking to a therapist can help you see things in a way that you never thought about seeing it. Give you tools and a way to approach your life in a way you never thought you would. And it can help a ton, it helped me a lot. Listen, it's really easy to sign up and get a match with a therapist. Just go to the link in the bio or go to betterhelp.com slash Bob the Drag Queen. Now clicking that link helps you support this channel, but it's also gets you 10% off at betterhelp.com, all right? so. Help me help you help us. Let's all just help each other. Better help, that is. Let's get into it. If, if you won one of these seasons, it's not about you. It has nothing to do with you. Don't, I mean, actually, you, you can add me if you want. I think I'm leaving Twitter anyway. Twitter's a, a hellscape. Um, but that's not the point. Let's get into the list. In dead last place, All-Stars won. Y'all, they did not know what they were doing on this season. This was a fever dream of it. The, the queens are competing in pairs. This is our very first All-Stars. There was that lip sync save button. They weren't really out of the box on this season, and it did not pay off well at all. The, but I will say, we did have that one great piece of drama where Mimi on first got into the fight with all the other queens. That was actually the one saving grace of the entire season. So, sorry, 23rd place. It's going to be All-Stars 1. Next, we have All-Stars 6. You know, this I didn't hate this season, but it just wasn't giving for me. Something, I think, some of the challenges I didn't love. You know what I mean? There wasn't a lot of drama, and I do want a little bit of drama. Call me a drama queen, but I, I want a little bit of drama with my television. Excuse me. Up next, we have Season 14. Now, okay, 
That, now, I actually like a lot of the queens from this. I love Willow Pill. I love Cornbread. I love Junior Malaya. I love Angeria. I love Diabetti. Uh, I love Bosco. But just because you have a bunch of great queens does not mean it's going to be a great season. You know what I mean? I think that this was this season was giving very much Kumbaya. This season was giving very much Best Friends Race. You know what I mean? I will say what, the redeemable thing about this season was I did not know who was going to win. Baby... I did not know until the end who was going to win. I was literally like, I genuinely don't know. I thought it was going to be Cornbread up front, and then Cornbread was taken out by the ankle. So this season, I will give this season that. And also, this was this 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 was the season of chocolate. It's chocolate. Like that was not that wasn't a fun. That I didn't enjoy that. That was I that was not fun to endure. I felt like I endured that. Okay, so up next we have All Stars Five, which was filmed during COVID, and they didn't really have a a, a a a shoot for it, which I felt bad for, but it is what it is. I think the reason why I didn't love this season so much was because I knew Shay was going to win the whole time. That's not the only reason why. And and by the way, I think she does. I genuinely think that she deserved to win, but <sighs> when this was when un, I think the most dramatic thing that happened this season was was, was when we found out Angina voted for herself. But I did. I I will say I was living for watching Shay Cracker and Alexis Mateo. Those three made this season for me. Those three made this season for me. Okay, up next we have All Stars Four. Shout out to okay the the double win is off the bat what made it not great. I don't like Ty. Ty. What you mean Ty? I feel like if I. This, obviously, I'm not trying to shame on it, but like, if I won during a tie, I'd be like, I don't know. Like, at this point, just give it to the other girl. I will say this promo was stunning. They all look so good. This is one of my favorite pro like promo shots. Like, just the actual picture of all time. Everyone looks good in this promo. But okay, well, highlights from the season though were uh, Manila Luzon. Life's not fair. Oh, also Gia Gun. <laughs> since I'm mean, saying what you think you're gonna do isn't necessarily what you're gonna do. Maybe I break this one too low, but it's too late. I already made the list. Up next, we have season 12. I really enjoyed this season. There was okay, first of all, we had the the, the drama of who we do not speak about. Which, uh, that's not the drama I was living for. That was drama that actually kind of made it hard to watch. But despite that, there are some really great queens from this season. Jada Essence Hall. I, I love Dahlia Sin. Britta Filter. Uh, Rockham Sakra. Widow Von Du. I was so standing Widow Von Du the entire season. Jan. Heidi. Gigi. Crystal Method. Nikki. Do this, this is a originally really good season. Um... This is a very, very good season. I had a couple of friends on this season as well. And I think that this was this was during this was the season that that ended in a pandemic. Because it was filmed, but then they had to it, it, it started it started airing during Yeah, it started airing during the pandemic. So Jada SS all won on Zoom, on a Zoom call, but she ate. And this is this is a good season. I really enjoy it. I'm trying to think of any highlights from this season that I really love. Heidi's fuck you, fuck you. I'm more about Heidi was amazing. The gaslighting of Jan that took place the entire season. Um, Rock'em Soccer being thrown out of the building for having a fart joke in the next season. They did a, they did a whole fart. <laughs> Rock'em Soccer being criticized viciously for doing a fart joke. And then the very next season, they did an entire sketch about farts. They, they they were really in their bag this season, and, and the Aiden Zane drama and the wig, and I did I did the pit stop for this season. This was a good season. I had I had fun with this one. Okay, up next we have season eleven, um, which Evie oddly won. I loved this season. This has one of my favorite untucked untucked quotes of all time. This was when Raja turned to uh, Sugar Kane and went. <clears throat> underrated moment i know i talk about it all the time but it's such an underrated moment i love when nina west walked through the door and said a legendary that was great i love i was such a big fan of raja this entire season sugar cane looks amazing this is when we the return of banji uh this was a great season 
This was this had that like eight way lip sync. Oh yeah, this had this had Brooklyn Heights and Evie Oddly doing "Sorry Not Sorry" by by Demi Lovato. Silky Nutmeg got not. If I had to lip sync, I was ready. This season was so good. Oh, I was having fun. I was having so much fun, and this promo was good too. This was a great promo. Up next, we have season thirteen. This was the season that Simone won. Okay, as you all know, I was obsessed with Tamisha Mon from the moment she walked through the door. I had so much fun loving Candy Muse in this season. Uh, Simone, uh, Utica was a great, qu great queen. Denali, uh, this was, this was, this was okay. Got Mick. This season was really good. I think that um, Drag is All Over the World was one of the best uh, early season like songs. You know, the drag is all over oh, phenomenon. the world. Oh, yeah. It's a phenomenon. That was great. I, I was forever going to Tamisha. Iman, it's coming for you to show the girls what I can do. T Tamisha Iman versus Candy. Oh my God. You know they won a BMA award for that. They won a moon a Moon Man or whatever or something. They won they won some MTV award for that entire. Ah, uh, this was a great season. Clap 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 to the girls of this season. Up next, we have season 15. This is the season that Sasha Colby won. Okay, some of the standout queens from this. Anitra, obviously Sasha Colby, Lux, MIB. Uh, oh my God, the twins. The twins being like not great at Drag Race, but really good at TV was a couple. I also loved Mistress Isabel Brooks versus um, Malaysia Baby Doll. Fox, baby doll, baby doll, baby doll, Fox. Oh my God, this was a very, very good season. Robin just posted a, this someone just posted a picture online. I think Lucy Laduca posted a picture online, and I was like, we all need to revisit a conversation about Robin in general because anyway, because they were all on a drag, and I was like, not Robin being Robin the snack just hey. Um, and obviously, I'm a, I'm a, I was a big fan of Selena Estes this season as well. I mean, this was a great season, and Lucy Laduca. This gave us let loose. I said, let loose. I will say the one thing I did not love about this season was knowing that Sasha Kobe was going to win the entire time. It was another one of those moments where it's like, we know, we already know who's going to win, but no one was mad that she won. She ate. I mean, her 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 performance of a goddess. This bitch is a goddess. G O D D S S. And now we all know how to spell goddess because of Sasha Kobe. I thought there was a uh, one being goddess. Up next, we have season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race. I gotta say, I, I'm gonna give myself somewhere in the middle. I, this is the season that Bob the Drag Queen won. I'm wearing a curtain dress in honor of um, my season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Shout out to uh, Free for making this dress. This season has some great stuff too. Me versus Derek. Derek versus uh, Naomi Smalls. Me versus Thorgy. Derek versus her eyebrows. Me versus my eyebrows. That was Acid Betty versus everybody. This season was really, really good. I, I mean, Chi Chi Devane's lip syncs alone were just worth the price of admission. And also, can I just say, as a side note, just randomly, if I'm going to go back and say who did the best on this promo shoot, controversial opinion, I have to give it to Cynthia Lee Fontaine. She looks amazing. Cynthia Lee Fontaine looks stunning. This is a great season. Season 8 was good. This was one of the shortest seasons, I believe. If not the shortest. Only season that didn't have a Tic Tac Theater. We didn't have a comedy challenge. We didn't have a reading challenge. We didn't have a stand-up comedy challenge. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get to write a song. We didn't get to sit down and have a Tic Tac. With the, this, they, we got shortchanged. Up next, we have season 1 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, this is a very small cast. 2, 4, 6, 8 nine girls I, I, I have to give props to season one of rupaul's drag race this when i say blueprint literally the blueprint this, this is the bb sahara Bene one we got one of the one of to this day one of the best reunions in the history of drag race i don't see you walking children in nature oh excuse your mouth i mean tammy brown rebecca glasscock bb zahara Bene, nina flowers this was a very, very good season of Drag Race. Victoria Porkchop Parker. This season, I 
cannot say enough great things about this season of Drag Race. I'm so glad that we... Thank you all for paving the way. We Y'all went in with no blueprint, not knowing what to expect, not knowing what it was going to be. And you ended up making a fantastic season of Drag Race. Thank you. Okay, up next we have season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race. This season got a lot of people gave it a lot of a lot of crap during its time, but honestly, looking back, this is a very good season of Drag Race. I think that some of the acting challenges were lacking. We will all we will never forgive them for what they did with Shakespeare, with Shakespeare. but also the fashion on this season. We have look at the hit, the big hitters: Violet Chosky, Trixie Mattel, Pearl, Ginger Minj. Katya, Miss Fame. There's Jasmine Masters. There are some real, I mean, there are some very, very, very good queens in this season. Um, I I love this season. And I, and I think that this season had probably some of the best runways for its time. And Violet came back and fully ate me up next season for her step down look. I'm not even going to deny that. This had Pearl versus RuPaul. Is there something on my face? Where were you when Pearl asked RuPaul if there was something on her face? I still remember being in the bar being like, ah! We were all fully gagged. Fully gagged. This also, was, I think, was the first season where they where they wrote the girls' songs at the finale. I remember Pearl, I think Pearl's song was called Sleepwalker. Mm -hmm. Bottle was a, a lot too more. Too many daddies. Too many daddies, not enough time. And then Ginger was like, cross dresses for Christ. Something like that. Up next, we have season nine. Oh my God, the stars from this season. Trinity, Eureka, Peppermint, Shea Coulee, Aja, Valentina, Sasha Velour. Oh my God, I love the gym tones uh, of, the, of, the, of the promo. Uh, I still think Alexis has one of the best promo looks of all time. This look is eating the girlies up. This season was very, very good. This was it. It was a little bit friendly. I will say this. It was a little bit friendly. Thank you to Valentina and Aja for bringing a little bit of drama. This had one of the one of the most iconic untucked moments of all time. Valentina, your smile is beautiful. That was just well, such a great scene. Also the reunion. Oh, yes. The reunion. Oh, my God. Fan fan. It, you go back and watch them all. I think it was actually Peppermint who was like, let's call it fan. I don't know who said fan favorite. Someone goes, yay, fan favorite. This reunion, this reunion gave us, you don't love me. This reunion gave us Nina Bonina going. This re, this re, this also gave us a, a do something, Charlie. I used to always say, do something, Charlie. <laughs> that is another underrated quote. No one says, do something charlie nearly enough so okay so so let me talk about the, the rose petal moment okay so first of all we were backstage and what you all don't realize is this i was actually getting ready next to sasha velour sasha velour had another gag prepared in case she was going to do stronger she had a pair of scissors that she had tucked into her like garter or something and she was going to like cut her wig up or something or i don't know what she's going to do with it but she had like this scissor gag prepared in case she did stronger and then i watched her fill her wig and her gloves with rose petals so i was like i don't know what's going on this girl got some something going on so now i'm sitting backstage watching one of the monitors and when she pulled those rose petals out of her wig when i tell you it was the loudest roar i think i've ever heard in my life it was very intense and and uh i think uh Fenton was running around backstage like and he stopped her to me and was like what the and everybody was just going insane. That was a really crazy moment. That was a crazy moment. Up next, we have season 10. Okay, again, some big hitters. Eureka again, The Vixen, Monet Exchange, Aquaria, Mayhem Miller. This is the introduction of Banji. We had Mo Hart. This was a really, really good season. Now, I, Asia O'Hara, okay, so this season, Miss Cracker, Oh, this is a very, very good season. I want to say that I do believe that a lot of what made this season great was how these girls were not afraid to fight. I think that the Vixen had a lot to do with that. Monet had a lot to do with that, too. But Monet actually wasn't fighting that much, but she gave a little bit of a fight at the uh, at the end of the thing. This 
this season was really good. Some of the some of the best lip syncs. Uh, Cameron Michaels versus Eureka was really good. And that was a very, very, very good one. Um, oh, this gave us Benji. Miss Benji. Miss Benji. This, this was a good season. Damn, 10 was good. Okay, now we have All Stars 3. This is that Trixie one. Okay, this is a short season two. Not very many queens. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Also, just like season one, it's had nine queens in it. Okay. Every one of these queens is a, is a star. Like this, this is huge. This was a this is a big season. This was one of my favorite promos of all time. David LaChapelle shot this promo. It was so good. This had been Creme eliminating herself. This had a this was a the return of BB. Zahara Benet. This had, oh my God, this season was so this this season was really good. I this um this Kitty Girl, Kitty Girl is one of my favorite uh like write your own verse challenges I've ever seen on Drag Race. This had uh Shangela coming close but not quite getting it. Man, and then that final lip sync, then <laughs> Tracy lip sync in that hideous. <laughs> She, even she admitted girl, I was running out of clothes. Like it was not a great, but still, this was a this was a good season. This was a very, very good season. They ate with this. They ate with this. Okay, now we have season three. This this is that Raja one. This was an okay, the great queen, Stacey Lady Matthews, Delta Work, Alexis Mateo, Raja, uh, Manila Luzon. This was a very, very good season. I I think that this was before um we were afraid of drama. This is before we were afraid of what the fans would think. This is when we were straight up calling girls boogers and heathers. This is, this is, this was a very different time in RuPaul's Drag Race. This is when white girls were wearing afros in the promo. This, the world was a very different place like then. Mariah, Paris, Balenciaga. Oh my God, y'all. The un Oh, this is when Shangela came back. We had another surprise queen this season, Shangela. This was one of the most problematic Untucked seasons of all time. I remember watching Untucked being like, what? This is too... I remember Delta Work being like, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Th this, this season was real. This season was very... This had Shangela versus Mimi on first. Baby, who's something I had a sugar daddy? Baby, everything I have at work, I... Oh my God. And this one I fell in love with Alexis Mateo. I did the piss off for her season of All Stars. Y'all know I, I am a, I, I am a, an Alexis Mateo stan. I love her. Bam, baby. I love Alexis Mateo. Okay, now we have All Star 7. This is a very good season. This is, this season was about just pure talent. When, I mean, obviously they're all winners. So obviously this is going to be one of the most talented seasons of Drag Race ever. This promo is so good. We had Monet in her beautiful opera moment. We had some of the just, we had Raja, the, the runaway killer. We had Jinx Monsoon, who won this season. Shea Coulee. This season was very, very good. Not a lot of drama. I will admit, not a lot of drama. They did not need the drama this season. They had talent. They had raw, unadulterated talent. And I thought I'd be mad that no one went home. I didn't care. I'm glad they all stayed. I'm glad they all stayed. All-Star 7 is a great season. Season two, this is seen that James won. This, or King Tyra, I believe he's going, he's going by these days. This season was very good. This had, uh, we had Morgan McMichaels, Jessica Wilde, uh, Tatiana, Raven, James, Juju B, Sahara Davenport, Kylie Sonique Love, uh, 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 Nicole Page, Brooks, Atlanta, Georgia. They were so messy. I am from Chicago. This was such a messy. This was this had um Tatiana being like, I know you think I'm shit. And Raven like, I would never call you shit. Her book was shit. Her face was shit. Her costume was shit. She is shit. This was back when the when the editing was tray shady, baby. Tray shady. Next, you have season six. This is the season that Bianca Del Rio won. Again, some big hitters. Darian Lake, Laganja, Estranja, Trinity, uh, K. Bonet, Bindula Creme, Vivacious, Milk, April Carrion, um, Courtney Act, Gia Gunn. 
this is a El Dordalano. This is a very good season. This is also, I, mean, I know it goes back a lot to the Untucks. The Untucks were a part of what make the season. I mean, if you don't watch Untucks, you can only get to have the story. This was when Bianca Del Rio. This was now, I will say, this season did give us, we know who's going to win. This season was very much giving, we know who's winning from the get. But again, as, it, sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, Bianca Del Rio versus Trinity. What do you do well? Quickly. Ooh, that was so good. Also, uh, I think Darren Lake said, um, I know what you got on your SATs. Catch up. This was such, and this this is also one of the seasons that had like I think milk was one of the was a one of the early alternative queens when it was like going down the runway as a man gagged the children going down as as, as her version of RuPaul gagged the children, um, and this and this was hands down the best promo in the history of Drag Race. This promo, maybe this promo was delicious, delicious. I think it was also the first double promo, double opening premiere. Now we have season five of RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, now some people regard this as their favorite, but some people, this is their all-time favorite. This is very high up there for me. This is the season that Jinx Monsoon won. This, when it, baby, when I say drama, this had everyone versus um, Serena Cha-Cha. <laughs> That was such a great moment. This had, this had Alaska, who was just one of my favorite drag race girls of all time. Detox, Honey Mahogany, Roxy Andrews, Jinx Monsoon, Coco Mon Trees, and the first ever crossover girl from the two biggest drag shows, um, Jay Jolie, who did Dragula and RuPaul's Drag Race, the first one to ever do that. This, oh, Alyssa Edwards versus everybody Alyssa versus coco Alyssa versus jay jolie Alyssa was just on a tear this season this is back when santino rice was still on the show giving out very odd critiques but i just remember him telling Alyssa she had the ugliest dress in the history of drag race that must that's not a you don't want that title you do not want that title and this was also when alaska was on because she was on as like sharon needles' boyfriend she has something to prove and oh Everyone versus Jinx. Watching World Alaska Talks. When you go back and watch World Alaska Talks versus Jinx, you're like, y'all, what were y'all doing? Y'all were just straight up being mean girls to Jinx one soon. Like, if you go back and watch, you're like, yeah, this is low-key wild. World Alaska Talks. Y'all are, this is just straight up bullying at this point. But it made some good TV. Up next, we have All Stars 2. This is... So I was very nervous when, when they announced because this was All Stars One. Then four years later, we did All Stars Two. I was very nervous when they announced this because I was like, Ugh, "All Stars not good. Maybe this eight down. This eight. Down. This is when they were, when they did the when they brought back writing on verses. Let me remember this. They wrote verses in season one, and they brought it back for All Stars Two. This season had bribery. There were pregnant people. Is that? People loaning shirts. People loaning out shirts. Girls quitting and leaving. Shut up and the shut up and drive lip sync between Tatiana and Alyssa. Ooh. This was a great season. This was a great one of the worst promos. That's not the point. A great season. Uh uh Jeremy Carey versus every body when Alyssa Edwards popped up behind that mirror and said trust the Duchess when Alyssa Ed when when Jeremy was talking shit and Alyssa popped up behind that mirror where were you when uh, when um Royce Andrews was never safe she was in being judged every single episode oh Adora, I don't belong to you. Because I remember Adora went up there and was smiling and Michelle was like, come on, girl, don't give us your little hawk body shit. And Adora was like, it's, wait, what? This was a very good season. Now, let's go to our first place spot, y'all. Controversial opinion, season four of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, the winner of season four is, she's a mess. That aside, 
Jeremy Carey versus her was one of is probably will go down in history for me as the the most intense rivalry in the history of RuPaul's Drag Race. Also, we found out they were the exact opposite. We found out that Jeremy wasn't the villain. Maybe in real life, we found out Jeremy was never the villain. We 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 had found out real quick. Milan was so good. Juju B. Do y'all even remember how amazing LaShawn Beyond's garments were on this season? This also gave us this is not RuPaul's best friend race that, that gave us that beautiful line. Also, Madame LaQueer was eating this season. And I won't hear nothing besides this. This gave us y'all, this is when we met Latrice Royale, chunky yet funky. I think for me, what made this season specifically so good was jeremy versus sharon their rivalry was one of the most well-crafted pieces of reality tv i think i've ever seen when they lip sync against each other dressed like the devil and an angel like how perfect it the whole season culminated at the point they were lip syncing to it's raining men in the remix um, with RuPaul in it, Jeremy dressed as an angel, Sharon dressed as the devil. When I tell you nail biter, bitch, I was on the edge of my seat. Like who's gonna go home? And they double saved them. Oh, that is TV brilliance. This should have been the first season to win an Emmy. This should have been the first season. Dita Ritz. Yeah. Dita Ritz giving lip sync after lip sync. Dita Ritz walking in and going, cheesecake. Dita Ritz doing, oh, this will be when she sent the princess home in front of um, Natalie Cole. Lip syncing to Everlasting Love. This will be an Everlasting Love in front of Natalie Cole. When she, when she said, that. oh my God, that lip sync was so good. Willem, the, Willem getting disqualified. We got our first disqualification. In the history of Drag Race, Willem was out of Willem. Was, Willem was such a good like like. I don't know if she was a villain or if she was an anti-hero or what she was, but she was very antagonistic the, the entire season. And they would just say stuff. They would just I remember I don't know who Milan was yelling at, but she was like, "Should I try to get on your level?" And then she laid down under the table. Juju be waving around a foot. Dressed like a baked potato, doing the splits. There's um when they kept on telling Willem she needed to show more more vulnerability. Oh my god, them telling Willem to show more vulnerability than her fake crying on stage. She goes, that I'm not acting. But she was acting. Bitch, <laughs> she was fully Willem, come clean right now and admit that you were acting. We know you're we know you're listen, you're an Emmy nominated actor. We know you can act, baby. We know. You're the only drag race girl to get an Emmy nomination for acting. We know you're a good actor. Talk about something. I'm not acting. Bitch, you acting, bitch. Acting. You remember what she said? Huh? You remember what she said? She was talking about she was something about having community and I don't remember. I don't remember what. No, no. She said, It's I've spent so much time getting to know these sisters. And it really sucks knowing all of them are gonna have to go home so I can win. <laughs> Would RuPaul call? Okay, so oh yeah, so it was, it was Jeremy versus Sharon, and we were like, "Who's gonna go home?" And then RuPaul said, "Willem," and everyone was like, "It didn't want to like throw up." Yeah, it, it wasn't the same episode. Willem was like vomiting. This that episode was. Crazy! It was bananas. This also had Kenya Michaels lip syncing around Latrice Royale to a uh, natural woman while they were pregnant, and she was doing a lyrical dance while Latrice did one of the most powerful lip syncs in the history of Drag Race. Without she stood, she walked to the center stage, what a parking bar. She parked herself, held her pregnant belly, and sang natural lip sync natural. No, she was singing, bitch. I don't care. Those words came in her mouth singing natural woman i will say this was and also the disaster snatch game the disaster snatch game oh my god this was oh my god this was a good season this season was so good 
I remember the promo. I just remember watching the promo in Metal Queer going, I work at the mall. They're always like up my head. I work at the mall. Oh my God. This season was so good. Fight me. This was a great, great season of RuPaul's Drag Race. They better work. Anyway, listen, that is my comprehensive list. Listen, if you disagree, that's fair. These are just my opinions. They don't make them right. They're just my opinions. It's my opinion. Um, let me know if you think I was onto something. Let me know if you think I would I am full of crap. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. And tell me your favorite season below. Tell me your favorite season right now. All right, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all soon.